Good evening. I wanted to open up by showing you this uh, painting of a cow. It's a pretty big one. Um, here's my hand for comparison. Um, a client um, at a gallery that I work with was interested in a painting of a cow that was there at the gallery. Actually, two of them there. And they said how much they loved it, but they said, can can you get the artist, them speaking to the gallery, can you get the artist to, well, does he have any bigger ones available? And uh, the um, gallery worker uh, said, yeah, I, let me talk to him and see what he has available. And I, I said, well, I don't have any available, but I will make one <laughs> very quickly. So I, I spent the past four days making that one. And I am really happy with how it turned out. Um, I have a special... Um, place in my heart for cows <laughs> because I uh, spent uh, a good deal of time with with one uh, for a, for a number of years every morning um, and I kind of miss her now buttercup but um anyway so that was a fun project but uh, the rest of the story is that today I this morning I sent the email with the picture to the gallery and they forwarded the to the client and the client says uh said how much they love it they were just they absolutely loved it it was perfect and they asked what the price was and they just about fell over <laughs> and uh you know, which you know i don't know what they were expecting but they were at the gallery they saw my prices they sh you know i had pieces there that were exactly the same s size as this one and they saw the price of those i don't know why they were so surprised, but anyway, it's too much money money for them. So you guys want a cow painting? Um, anyway, such is life. Um, I have also been embarking on a new uh, adventure, <laughs> as if I have time. So it seems a little bit ridiculous, but I'm gonna stop, at least for a while. I'm gonna stop buying these frames they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous but they are kind of expensive and I am going to make them myself so I bought 400 feet of, of molding and some some power tools you know new versions of power tools that you know that I that I need to make this work and here I'll show you up close here's one for smaller smaller paintings and so I've got three different moldings here here's the one that, that this frame is and there's another one in there but oh, they're all, I'm not sure which one was loose so anyhow um, so for price comparison this one here that's 22 by 28 inches um, usually when I buy it finished it's probably around $260 and but I can make it for about how many feet are in here? Three. Well, about twenty-five dollars. Anyway, that's a that's a big difference, isn't it? It's a huge difference. So I um every year I uh, I spend a lot of money on frames, and that combined with or added to the cost of shipping paintings to galleries or driving them out to them. Uh, that's well, the framing is still the, the biggest expense of mine in this business. And, um, yeah, so, so it'll be nice to save some money. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of time to build a frame as opposed to just buy it ready-made. So that's a downside. But I'm working with a good friend who has been doing it for a long time and has really perfected the, the art of, of framing himself and good just gorgeous gorgeous frames so I'm learning from him um, how to, to do them very quickly so he says he can he can do a you know a 260 sixty dollar frame like that in about an hour um, from from cutting to absolute finished uh, work of art in the painting I can handle that that's no problem at all so if I can get myself to uh, bite the bullet and buy um, well, that's really glary. And to buy um, about $2,500 worth of startup um, tools, you know, tools that I need to start up 
then I'll be in a good place uh, to save. Well, right now I'm spending probably $10,000 a year just on frames. So that's um, it's gonna be a huge savings. So $2,500 plus only like 25 bucks per frame instead of 260 bucks per frame. And that's probably a good average actually, because I buy some that are very, very much more than that. And then a lot of cheaper ones too. Um, anyway, it's causing me a tiny bit of stress just trying to make the decision, <laughs> but that's funny. I think, you know, a lot of people um, have a tendency to, especially those who love what they do for work, have a tendency to take their work home with them. I can't help it though. My work is in my home. And second of all, I, I identify so much with uh, what I do, which is being an artist, um, that myself and my job are completely inseparable. So I am an artist. You know, I can't leave it at work. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays with me. Um, here's Laura Jean. The kids are actually upstairs watching a movie. But Laura Jean is, has been working actually tires, tirelessly all day today on this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's coming along really great. So it's right now just she's fun. just... I just like to play. Yeah, just merchandising right now. Um, she's showing what, what all these are going to look like all printed out, but... So it's just trying to illustrate, like, you would cut these after you print them out. You would cut these and put them together in your journal spread. So much fun. So it's basically a digital sticker, but you can actually have a physical item. It's not... Yeah, so people will download these and print them out on their own computer and then cut them out and glue them in their journals and stuff or on calendars and so we're gonna I don't know, maybe someday make journals and calendars that they can go with but for now people <laughs> could just put them in their own <laughs> someday when when i have more time after a long i know it's really hard to have like a million ideas and then only be able to execute one at a time <laughs> actually i could work on all of them at once but i am pretty sure i would never get any of them finished <laughs> that's how many ideas i have in my head <laughs> Well, Laura Jean actually made a um, a list of of ideas, and they filled ten pages in your notebook. Yeah. Did you ever find that? So I, I lost misplaced the it. Yeah, it's somewhere. <laughs> but somewhere in the house or in the, the car. Pages weren't completely full. It was like a list. List. Yeah. Sometimes it had two columns. But yeah, I s ten pages full of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. I love it, and they were all awesome ideas. And then we've come up with just talking after the kids go to bed, like another dozen or so just last night that we thought of. Yeah. Did we write those ones down? Or do you remember any of those ones? We we were getting ready we I were getting I, ready for bed and I so I stuff when I'm in bed and that's like usually when I get genius ideas and then I they're gone. <laughs> that's the thing. Well that I never know if they're genius or not because it's like dreams you wake up and you're like I had the best no that was really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. That reminds me of um, something my brother did. Hopefully, he doesn't mind me sharing this. I think it's hilarious and awesome. I think it's actually a cool. Idea. I th I think it's too. It's I don't too. Think he. It's anything to be embarrassed of. So my youngest brother, <laughs> brother Stan. You've if you've watched our channel, you see you've seen him before. He's so much fun. But he um, he had heard that you know if you write down your dreams, that you'll wake up and realize how genius they are. Um, and so he he set a pen and notepad by his bed. And uh, woke up in the n middle of the night after having this awesome dream about this business idea. And he wrote it down and then, um, you know, quickly fell back asleep. And he was so excited to wake up in the morning and, and read his idea. And he got it out and read it. And it says, um, need, need to dough basics. A, a bread, <laughs> a, bre a bakery or a... <laughs> I don't know. I, it's actually, on a need I, to know basis. Right. So yeah. I really it's a don't great play in words. Actually, I think it's genius, but he was just like, oh my goodness, this is so stupid. I, and he, you know, People would come in and be like, so what kind of stuff do you sell? And he'd be like, that's on a need, that's to, a know need to know basics. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's genius, actually, for like a uh, cooking, a fine cookware store or like fancy spices and stuff. <laughs> We've actually got a store like that around here, but they don't have such a cool name. Anyway. <laughs> That was a tangent. <laughs>
It's fun to have time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, our kids are upstairs watching Bugs watching Life. Bugs Life because they haven't seen it before. At least not since Lizzie and at least our little kids have Lizzie and Alex have, might have seen it when they were little, little tiny. And Lizzie is at uh, a musical. musical. Yeah, she's actually got permission to. Be to in the be, stage crew. yeah, to be in the stage crew slash uh, act as an extra, and so she gets a little bit of the whole experience of being in a musical without us having to drive her to every single to practice every, practice, <laughs> every day, <laughs> every day for like three months. It's crazy. Um, normally, it's not that bad. Uh, both of us were in musicals, but we weren't nearly as far away as the school is from us now. Would you agree? We, yeah. we both live down in the country, I, but I, this I school was is really far away. Close enough that I could walk to my high school. Oh, that was to. really close. Mine was like five miles away. Lizzie's is about it was a 20 long miles walk, away, though. But yeah. That was a, but I could. Yeah. I, I, I did it. I guess I could have walked. Lizzie could walk to school. It only take her like three days. Thank you walk through <laughs> enough backyards. <laughs> anyway, we're glad that she can have that experience, and she's she's loving it, and it's kind of getting us excited to hear her excitement for being backstage and you know it's totally not productive but it sure is fun <laughs> anyway that's where she is so it's a little bit late at night and we're just waiting for her to come home and um, for the kids to finish their movie and so we're just having our little I guess it's a date I mean yeah. this is the first time <laughs> we've sat together we've just been doing our own things yeah. <laughs> for the past hour but it's still fun to be together in the same room anyway uh, we have been extremely busy this week. That's why we haven't posted until now. But, uh, um, well, part of that was just getting all this framing stuff in here. And uh, we'll... And that, right behind us, mm -hmm. is a jar of peanut butter I just have to share. It is Isn't a Lego guy that Alex turned our peanut butter into a Lego guy. You can see that we were eating... Celery and celery peanut butter. with peanut butter. And Alex Out of said, a Lego head. Yep. Alex was telling us how much it looked exactly like a Lego, or a, yeah, yeah, that shape looked just like a Lego head, so he made it into one. I think that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs>